You have to, basically you have to cut out all the edge to the sound. It's got to be, it, the sound has always got to start with the breath. I think that's the most, that's the thing that's the difficult thing to get your head around is the fact that even in the auditions, for example, I was singing, obviously trying to impress them. And, and Philip said to me, this is the only audition you're ever going to sing in that we don't want to hear you. We, they don't want the voices to stick out, but if one does, everyone in the audience can hear. And that's not what the group's about. So technically, it's basically taking all the edge and the sharpness off the sound and getting that breath pumped through. And it's a state of mind as well. I mean, you know, as a soloist, you want to make, more than not, you want to make the biggest and project the sound right to the back. And you don't need to do that in this group. And I think that's the thing that you have to sort of cut off that solo part of your brain and the singer's ego you don't have you can't have in this group and i think that's the that's the king singer sound is that breath and that's the breath that gets the sound right to the back it's not the volume